All right, welcome back, everybody. The largest robotics competition in the world just wrapped up earlier this month, and we had some shining stars from West Hartford's American School for the Deaf who competed in the VEX Robotics World Championship. Yeah, so incredible. We are here with Jeffrey Braven, the executive director, and Hater, a high school team captain, So, and the whole crew here. So congratulations to to everybody, um, just a huge experience. So this, uh, I, I wanna just talk about this competition was actually for all students who are hearing impaired. Everyone competing was hearing impaired. So it was all deaf schools that came together. Do you wanna speak a little more about this, Hyder? Sure, Hyder's gonna speak through an interpreter, excellent. So yes, we all got together in February at the Alabama School for the Deaf, and that's where we had what we call our regional competition, and it was an excellent event because we got to have a lot of fun with a lot of the different schools from around the United States. That's so exciting. Uh, it's, it had to have been a remarkable achievement. Tell us a little bit about the machine that you designed. Hater, you want to go? Tell us about the machine. Now, let me talk a little bit actually about the award that you see. You see an award here, it's called the Design, and that's part of our engineering notebook. Okay. Our engineering notebook is part of the process, and we won an award on our excellence of the engineering notebook. We also, also competed with and um, what we call alliance partnered with other schools for the deaf, and that's how we were able to go to Texas for the world championships. Wow. <laughs> so, what does the robot do? <laughs> Robots can do so many different things, and honestly, when I first heard about this, I said, what is that? But as I see it, they actually move, and they do all kinds of things. They throw balls, they push things, they collect things. Am I right? What else can they do? Yes. Uh, we could do, like, shooting of the yellow discs that you see here. This can move across the field. Um, some of the other teams, we didn't get to do this. They did an expansion. It was like a huge net that went across the entire field at the end of the competition. And, and how many people went to the competition? Um, from our team, it was just the 10 of us. Wow, that's a pretty good amount um, of people. <laughs> but there was also, you know, there's all these other areas, but there's about, let's see, there is about 100 teams in our division and there was about 800 teams throughout the entire world that wow. joined us. And that then kind of went all the way down to our final world championship, which but is... When you went to Worlds, how many were there? Yeah, it was like over 800 teams. It was pretty amazing. That, that is, is incredible, remarkable. more than 800 teams. And I love, you know, we're so lucky that we have the American School for the Deaf right here in West Hartford. Can you talk a little bit about the mission? Our mission always and our tagline is always able. And so we believe that every one of our students can become whatever they want to be, whether they go into science, engineering, English, or physics. We want them to thrive and grow and have an impact on the world. And so I'm extremely proud of all the students who are here with me today. They're doing great things. And I know they have been, they just recently put on an expansion within the past couple of years, few years, they put on an expansion at the uh, School for the Deaf. They made it big and beautiful outside, right? It's really a wonderful campus. <laughs> Yes, our campus is amazing. It's gorgeous. And we are grateful for the wonderful collaboration we have with the town of West Hartford. They've been wonderful partners to the school. And we are also excited this coming fall we'll be building two brand new dormitories for our students. So we're continuing to grow. That is so great. That was so great. And, you know, we've got the whole big team here. I know not everyone is speaking, but can you talk about just um, all the different ages and how so many different kids can be involved? Hey. So we have two groups. We have our middle school group and our high school group. So the competition is able to accommodate those age ranges. At the middle school ages, they're learning the basics. And by the time they get to high school, they're able to compete at a higher level. So we've got some younger students who are learning the ropes. And we have two seniors that we will lose this year. But we know we have other people coming up behind them to follow in their footsteps. And, and Hader, can you tell me what we're looking at right here? What are these three things, these wonderful things?
Um, this is for our middle school. The IQ is, what call, is what's called the competition. It's called VEX IQ. Uh, they won because of their design, their robot, and how they did teamwork. Because the middle school is more of a teamwork kind of event, whereas the um, high school event's more a competition. That is just wonderful. Yeah, that so uh, I, I, for haters a little bit older, I don't know if you know this yet, but any ideas what you want to do when you grow up? <laughs> When I grow up, ooh, I think my future is college. I plan on attending RIT and TID in the fall in New York. And I'm thinking kind of computer engineering is where I'm headed. Maybe work for a business company fixing things or something in the real world. I'm excited about it. That's wonderful. Well, we want to thank our interpreters. We have Christina and thank we you. have Heidi who have been able to interpret for us. And uh, I, this is just a, a sign that we need to learn sign language because this is a remarkable thing. Uh, it's really amazing. And grad congratulations to, to everyone here, to the coaches, to all of you. Big round, Big round of applause. Our pleasure to let the community know about the great work you're doing. Um, to learn more, you can visit ASD1817.org and learn more about their competition. And also visit, if you want to learn more, roboticseducation.org. Thank you guys so much. Yes, thank you so much. Thank you. 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 Thank you.